Frances Huertas has to take three buses to get from her home in Union City to the senior center where she works in East Orange. An hour in the morning and about two in the afternoon. <clears throat> Depending on traffic. Like many, she's had no choice but to rely on NJ Transit during the pandemic. I have to work. I've been working 13 years for the same company. According to a new report by Regional Plan Association, ridership on New Jersey Transit dropped 90% in March when the lockdown was put in place and hasn't bounced back compared to last year. However, RPA New Jersey Director Nat Bottingheimer says bus ridership in August only decreased by 20 to 30 percent, showing there are still many people who need to use the bus. Surveys conducted by New Jersey Transit found bus riders to be more satisfied uh, during the pandemic than they were before the pandemic because uh, bus on time performance has increased from 90 percent to 99 percent. Um, and that's a function of there being less traffic on the road. But he says he's waving a flag because he fears what will come. Right now, rail riders are uh, down by 80%. And if those folks are going to go to work, they are going to be uh, motivated to use their car. And if they take the car and make the roads more congested, they will make the trip slower for bus riders, less reliable. The importance of being able to get to work has elevated. Buses are packed with essential workers too. The report found about three quarters of riders are considered essential. They're hospital workers, they work in supermarkets, uh, they work in warehouses. The, the people who we need to be showing up at work to protect our health and to keep our lives going. 73% of riders, bus riders in Newark don't have access to a car. These riders are at risk because they have uh, less access to personal cars, they're more dependent on transit and with transit agencies facing revenue shortfalls, uh, bus riders now face the prospect of service cuts or fare increases. The MTA just released its 2021 budget and anticipates having to make more than 9,000 job cuts and a 40% decrease of service on buses and subways. It says the pandemic has caused an unprecedented financial crisis and it hasn't been given the $12 billion it needs in federal aid. In a statement, NJ Transit said right now it is operating full service. Currently, there are no planned service cuts. New York MTA received uh, proportionally less funding from the federal government than New Jersey Transit did, and so they are facing this crisis sooner than New Jersey Transit. But New Jersey Transit will be confronting this abyss uh, basically at the end of June of 2021. Bottingheimer says that's why his organization is calling on the state's elected leaders to plan right now. So service doesn't have to be cut and fares don't have to go up. New Jersey Transit has projected that they'll need another $1.2 billion uh, to make up for the revenue losses that are expected from the pandemic. A warning these two New Jersey Transit riders hope is heard before it's too late. I remember I had to work on uh, during like the pandemic, like on, on May maybe, and I was taking over, but it was very expensive for me. I yeah. don't know how I would go to work if I didn't have this bus. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.